He is arguably the last of the world's living saints, a former prisoner turned president who promised to serve just one term and did just that. After nearly 90 years of life, it is time for new heads to lift the burdens. It is in your hands now. I will want to see a country which will point a finger at us and say we have done wrong. I will want to see that finger and see whether it is clean or dirty. He, on the other hand, is a former liberation hero turned villain. A man who has ruled Zimbabwe with an iron fist now for close to three decades. He ended up serving 27 years in prison, but in the end came out a free man and went on to become his country's first black president. Five years later, he walked away from public office, and since then, he's been the busiest retired president on the planet. He spent several years in prison before escaping into exile and leading a liberation movement that in the end ushered independence for the country once known as Southern Rhodesia. He went on to become newly independent Zimbabwe's first black president. That was way back in 1980. In 2008, he's still Zimbabwe's first black president. He is undoubtedly Africa's biggest of the big men. A man many critics say has long passed his sell-by date. A man who's driven what was once known as Southern Africa's breadbasket into what is commonly referred to as just another African basket case. Happy birthday to you. He just celebrated his 90th birthday in style. And it seemed like the whole world had gathered in Hyde Park to witness this milestone. Oh. He, on the other hand, turned 84 earlier this year. And this past Friday, voted himself in as president for another six-year term of office in a runoff election that's been condemned by world leaders and described by many in Africa as a mockery of democracy and an embarrassment for the continent. He's a registered voter uh, in high food as well as uh, Amai Mugabe. Two men born around the same time. Two men who started off on similar paths of liberation, who were both jailed for fighting for their individual countries. Two men who suffered greatly for the cause of freedom. Two men who reached a crossroads and each took a different path. Two men, one who went from zero to hero after serving 27 years in prison, the other from hero to zero after serving 28 years in power. The difference couldn't have been more evident than this past week. History has a funny way of showing us things we might otherwise have overlooked. But for these two, history will no doubt remember the day when one of them was fetid and the other one was booed. The difference between them is no doubt like night and day. Jeff Koenengi, Eyewitness News, Nairobi.